Neon Cities. The future is always Neon Cities. Blade Runner is Neon. Ghost in the Shell is Neon. Neon City isn't Neon. No idea why. If it's not Neon, it's a dystopia. I'm off for JTRPodcast.com. I'm going to show you how to play Dystopia. Dystopia. I get it now. This is a game for two to four players. Plays in about 30 minutes. It's designed by Tobias Hall and published by All or None Games. You play a faction vying for control of Dystopia, score the most points by dominating neighbourhoods with your agents and completing secret missions to win. If playing with the scenario cards, reveal one now. This will affect the game and can affect setup, so it needs to be done first. As these are not needed for your first game, I'm going to leave them out of this video. Give each player a faction card, they put that in front of themselves face up. This will give a unique player power for the game. To set up, give each player a faction board, 7 agents and an ability token of their player colour. Place the six agents in their space on the faction board and one on zero points of the score track. Now the game does come with cubes rather than little mini meeples as I was showing in my video, but unfortunately I can't find my cubes but the mini meeples are available to buy extra. Sorry. Roll all of the dice in a four player game and place them randomly on the city board spaces. Roll two fewer dice of each colour for each player fewer than four in the game. So in a three player game remove two of each colour dice. Fill up each neighbourhood from the left up, one more than the number of players. 3 dice for a 2 player game, 4 for a 3 player game and 5 for a 4 player game. The player count is printed on the board. Shuffle the mission cards and deal 3 to each player. They keep 2 and discard 1 to the bottom of the deck. These mission cards will give you end game points. Now onto gameplay and in turn order players will take a die from any city board and swap it with the leftmost agent on their faction board. The player must take the action of the neighbourhood they took the die from. Let's take a look at the 6 neighbourhood actions. A summary of the neighbourhood actions are printed on your faction card. The Agency. Draw a mission card and discard any one mission card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. The Google Air Force. Reroll a die in any neighbourhood or on any faction board. To clarify, when a rule says any, it means any, so any faction board would be the faction board for any player. Waste Management. Swap an agent in a neighbourhood with a die in another neighbourhood. Now these neighbourhoods must be different. Twilight Congress. Swap two dice in two different neighbourhoods. Observatory Bank. Swap any die in a neighbourhood with any die on any faction board. Nethal Syndicate. Swap two dice on any two faction boards. Symbols on the board show if the action affects neighbourhoods or faction boards. A die symbol represents a die in a neighbourhood and a die symbol in a box represents a die on a faction board. So on a typical turn the player will take the leftmost agent from the faction board and swap it with a die in any neighbourhood, in this case the Gugu Air Force Base. They put the die on the player board and take the action of the neighbourhood. This turn they are able to re-roll a die choosing one on their own faction board. A player can use a faction ability at any time. If using a once player game ability, flip over your ability token to show the ability has been used this game. Once the player has placed an agent, taken a die and taken the action of their neighbourhood, play will continue clockwise. Once all players have placed all 6 agents, the game will end. Players will score points equal to the total number of die pips on their faction board. For each neighbourhood, the player with the most agents in it scores 5 points, plus the value of pips on any remaining dice in that neighbourhood. For example, the yellow player has the most agents here and there is a 3 die left in the neighbourhood, so the player will score 8 points, 5 plus 3. For a tie, divide the points evenly between the tied players, rounding up. Players score points on the mission cards they have in their hand. For example, the smuggler will give you 3 points for each purple die on your faction board. The player with the most points wins. The tiebreaker goes to the player controlling the most neighbourhoods and the highest die value on their faction board. That's Dystopia, a worker placement area control game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast to find my blog and podcast at JTRPodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Just of the Rogue. Until next time, be a good neighbour.